Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be solving the 2012 Turkish Math Olympiad problem in which we are given an inequality where we have a 1 plus square root of n squared minus 9n plus 20 is greater than the square root of n squared minus 7n plus 12 such that n is a natural number and we want to solve for n. Now before we go on, consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos and hit the like button if you find this video helpful. So first of all, notice that the right-hand side of this inequality is something non-negative. And the left-hand side is completely positive. Therefore, I'm safe to say that we can go ahead and square both sides. So if we do that, we will have 1 plus n squared minus 9n plus 20 plus 2 times square root of n squared minus 9n plus 20. And this is greater than n squared minus 7n plus 12. Now, we can say that this n squared and this n squared will cancel each other. So we will be left with 21 minus 9n plus 2 times square root of n squared minus 9n plus 20 is greater than negative 7n plus 12. Next, let's go ahead and isolate this square root. So we need to move this expression to the right-hand side. So we will have a 2 times square root of n squared minus 9n plus 20 is greater than 2n minus 9. Now, notice that the left-hand side of this inequality is something non-negative. But we don't know if the right hand side is positive or it is negative or it is equal to zero. So let's go ahead and assume one of these scenarios. Let's go ahead and assume that the right hand side, which is 2n minus 9, is something negative. If this happens, then since the left hand side is something non negative, the inequality will hold because we know that any non-negative number is always greater than something negative. So, if this happens, I can say that 2n is less than 9, and from this I can say that n is less than 9 halves. But notice that n is something natural, so n can be 1, or it can be 2, or it can be 3 or it can be 4. So for these four values, 2n minus 9, which is the right hand side of our inequality, is going to be something negative. And for that, the inequality will hold. In other words, n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4 are solutions to this inequality because they will satisfy our inequality. So we have four solutions in the first scenario. Now, let's go ahead and assume that 2 times n minus 9, which is the right-hand side of our inequality, is something non-negative. If that happens, we can go ahead and square both sides. So if we do that, we will have 4 times n squared minus 9n plus 20 is larger than the quantity 2n minus 9 all squared. And this gives us 4n squared minus 36n plus 80 is greater than 4n squared minus 36n plus 81. Obviously, this will cancel this, so we will be left with 80 is greater than 81, which is something completely false. So we have a contradiction, and this contradiction comes from this assumption. So the right-hand side of our inequality cannot be something non-negative. Therefore, it has to be negative. And if it is negative, we will have these four solutions. So n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, and n equals 4 are the only natural solutions that we can find for our inequality. 
Great, so we're done with this great Turkish math Olympiad problem. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.